Hello everyone, and welcome to my course on CodePush for React Native. CodePush is a very powerful application that allows React Native developers to instantly deploy updates to their production apps without having to go through the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. I haven't seen a lot of material on CodePush thus far, so I wanted to do a video covering as much as possible about CodePush. In this video, we're going to cover what CodePush is and how it works. So what is code push? The best one line answer to that question is as follows. Code push is a Microsoft solution that allows developers to update the JavaScript portion of their app instantly without the need of a formal app deployment. Now I know there's a lot to eat in this sentence right here, but don't worry, we're gonna cover each. The second point, Native iOS and Android code cannot be updated via code push. You'll learn a little bit about this in a second, but when you're with your apps, you have JavaScript code and you have native code. Code push is only for the JavaScript portion of the app. It does not deal with updating any sort of the native pieces of your code. Code push is the fastest way to update your app on any mobile platform. The reason why this is, is that the JavaScript updates are instant. With native code on any other platform, you have to go through an app review process, which can sometimes take days, weeks, or months. With JavaScript updates, they bypass the review process, so the updates are almost instant. CodePush supports React Native and Cordova platforms. At the time of this recording, it's just for React Native and Cordova. There's nothing for Xamarin at this time or any other sort of JavaScript-based apps. Okay, the fifth point. Apple allows this as long as you do not dramatically change the way your app functions. This is a very, very important piece. When you're making these JavaScript updates, you want to make sure that you do not dramatically change the way your app functions. This is only intended to be very marginal and incremental updates, such as UI changes and A-B testing and stuff like that. If you're changing your entire navigation structure or if you're changing your app from a booking app to a social dating app, those are dramatic changes. I would not recommend doing that or else the vendors such as Apple and Google may end up coming down on you. So please, please, please do not abuse this fifth rule here. This is very, very important. So this is what CodePush is in a nutshell. Next, we'll take a look on how CodePush works. In this segment, we're gonna take a look at how CodePush works. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna show you what the app deployment process looks right now from a high level. And then we're gonna look at how code push is inserted into this equation and why it's important. So the first things first is we're gonna look at a normal app deployment from a high level. Think of this down here, your local code repository as your laptop or desktop machine. This is where you're actually developing your code. You're typically, with React Native applications, you're doing JavaScript code native iOS code, and native Android code. When you want to go ahead and deploy these to the app stores, these are bundled together and they're deployed to each store. So up here above, you'll see the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, and there's a bundled app on each. The bundled app is a bundle of JavaScript code and native code. For the Google Play Store, it's obviously JavaScript and Android code. And with the Apple App Store, it is JavaScript and the native iOS code. After that occurs, once the app is on the, on the source, users can then discover your app by browsing and they can download it onto their device. So at this point, you have deployed code from your local code repository to the App Store and the user has then downloaded the app onto their device. Now, if you want to go through an update, or if you want to fix a bug, you have to go through this process again. So first you'd have to bundle up your code, resubmit to the App Store. 
once it's resubmitted, it would have to go through a review process, which can take anywhere from a day to a week to sometimes months. And then the user would be able to download the update. As you can imagine, this is not the most convenient process, and this could be somewhat annoying. However, if there was a way that we could somehow bypass this, it would make it so much easier. And that's where Code Push comes in. Code Push is a little bit of code that we'll install on our app, and it's going to end up looking for something from a, another server. And I'll show you that right now. So let's take our local code repository, let's expand it out a bit, and let's say we go and make some updates to the JavaScript portion of our code to let's say fix a bug. From there, what you would typically do is you'd use code push to push this JavaScript code out to a Microsoft code push server. That Microsoft code push server is then going to house your JavaScript code depending on whatever key you pass. With a key, you're allowing different code repositories on their Microsoft code push server for different use cases that you may have. You can have a key for production, staging, and some A-B testing if you so wish. When you publish the code over, it does go over with a development key. And in your JavaScript code that you had initially deployed to your app, it also references a key in your code. So then, when a user starts up their app, what's going to happen is that this code push code is going to tell the app to go check the Microsoft Code Push server to see if there's an update to the JavaScript portion of the code. If there is, that code would then get passed back over to the device and then it would get silently installed in the background while the user is using the app. So let's say that uh, our development queue is prod and we had deployed an app and after it was deployed, we, were, we said, oh crap, there was, there's a bug, the app is crashing. We could then run over to the JavaScript code. We could push that out to code push. And then the next time the user opens the app, it would come over and check that prod key. It would see that there's an update in prod. Then it would then publish that update back to the user's app and install it on the device. Bug fixed. So this was, that was a much faster process than if we were to gone through the standard app review process, which is, can take a long time. So this is how Code Push works in a nutshell. I hope this was helpful. Uh, next up, we will go ahead and set up and install Code Push on JavaScript, Android, and iOS code.